Breaking news, guys. Terrorists ambush Nigerian soldiers near Mali, Burkina Faso border, kill 23. 24 others unaccounted for. Which kind of war be this one? Sources said about 34 soldiers unaccounted for were suspected to have been adopted in the late Wednesday ambush at a Churi village in the Ban Kilari district of Delibari State. At least 23 Nigerian soldiers were reported killed in a terrorist ambush that left 17 others injured. Sources said about 34 soldiers unaccounted for were suspected to have been adopted in the late Wednesday ambush at the Juri village in the Ban Kilari district of the Labiri state. The country's defense headquarters has confirmed the incident, saying 30 terrorists were neutralized at the attack. In a broadcast on the country's national television on Thursday night, a spokesperson for the defense headquarters said, over 100 terrorists ambushed our forces between Tujeri village and Bankarili. They planted landmines and also used improved explosive device IEDs. Our gallant forces, however, showed re resilience and pushed back the terrorists who came on motorcycles and pickup vans in the battle. In the first battle, our troops neutralized more than 30 enemies. Sadly, 23 heroes fell on our side. Why 17 others are receiving treatment at the hospital? Four artillery vehicles and four pickup vans were also destroyed in the process. These people have just declared war. Somebody was telling me the other day that don't you think the world is getting to an end? What is going on in Africa is really very sad. You understand? It's happening. These terrorists have invaded African countries. They are operating in Nigeria. They are operating in Niger. They are in Mali. They are in Burkina Faso and all that. That is where you hear some persons say, hmm, I don't trust the Western countries. It seems that they are benefiting from this. You understand? That is why some persons will tell you. You are saying you will help us. How exactly are you helping us? What are you doing in all these things that are going, going, uh, uh, happening and all that? Anyway, Africans should by now understand that they are on their own. If they are looking for help from anybody or any country, they just have to, you know, um, stop thinking about that and face this fact. Then they talk, say, that thing will happen to tomorrow, make it happen today. They have to face their fight. That makes you a man. If you don't, if you are not strong enough to face your fight, people keep on coming, helping you. You can never grow as a man. And you, that they are helping, all that and all that, they will keep on feeding you. So African countries should stand up against most West African countries, mostly in West African countries. They have to stand up against these terrorists that have invaded their countries. It's really too bad. In another news headline, terrorists released 15 adopted students in Sokoto State after payment of ransom. And I know that story now, this one in Nigeria. A top military source around the, the community, Gidan Bakusu, in the Gadara local government area of the state, told Hara reporters on Friday morning. Terrorists, locally known as bandits, have released the adopted 15 students of the Kwariknik School in Sokoto State. A top military source around the community in Gidan Bakusu in the Gidan local government area of the state told Sahara reporters that was on Friday morning. All the students have been freed and they are reunited back to their families. I can tell you how much was paid as a ransom. I can't tell you how much 
that was spared for ransom, but definitely the bandits were given something before they released them, the source told Sahara reporters. When Sahara reporters con contacted the state police spokesperson, uh, Rufai Ahmed, for his comment, he said, I am yet to be informed, though, but I will definitely find out and get back. The students were kidnapped at Kidan Bakusu village in the Dar local government area while running into their rooms to escape attack on the community two weeks ago in Nigeria. Sahara reporters had reported how the students were adopted from their school around 1 a.m. last Saturday. The, the proprietor of the school, Liman Habubaka, said 15 students were unaccounted for so far, but we are still counting. This incident came barely a day after the terrorists stormed a government school in Kaduna State and adopted over 20, 270 pupils. According to Abubakar, the bandits invaded the, two, the, the town around 1 a.m. They shot one person and adopted a woman. As they were leaving the town, they cited our students rushing into their rooms and they kidnapped many of them. We have, we have so far counted 15 who are missing and we are still searching for more, he said. Abu Bakr added that this was not the first time the village was attacked by bandits. The, the member representing Gadehist constituency at the State House of Assembly, Kabiru, while confirming the attack, said he received a call from the village around 2 a.m. that it was invaded by bandits. I reached out to the local government authorities and security agencies, and I am sure they are doing something about it, he said. It was also gathered that the bandits attacked and killed three persons at Tubar village in the Isa local government area of the state, including the village head. Well, thank God. They have released this one. Thank God. At least these children. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to say what that is, that is trying to come out from my mouth. May God help us. May God help Nigeria. May God help Africa. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you.